Hey guys, so I just want to talk about the iPhone 7 and um, a little bit of issues we actually had. We have a client that's been here for quite a bit, came here a few times, at least two or three times. We did some screen replacements for them. Um, we also did software resets. Um, we did a bunch of things for them. Really nice person. Uh, they come back another day and they get this error. They try plugging it in, it's not charging. So they say it's been charging all night um, and there's still no battery icon or anything and they said they tried another charger it still isn't working um, I bring it in here I do use one of our chargers it does seem to be charging we are getting voltage on it we have a little voltmeter uh, tester here too that does check like the iPhone chargers make sure it's getting charged um, we did leave it a little bit it did it was trying to turn on but right when it got enough battery to turn on it would go to the Apple logo and then it would reset so usually that does mean it's some type of bad sign um, it could be more of a board issue, it could be some type of firmware issue. Um, it's, it's his son's phone, so we, I want to take a look at it. And, you know, he's a good client, so I want to, to try to see what I can do for him. So I decided to take it in to take a look at it and see what we can do. Um, I did the, do the hard reset on it and actually did bring up the icon where the iTunes and it has the little picture with the iTunes. I'll show you a picture here. And that's for the iTunes to connect. Um, it did show that one. So I would thought there was a pretty good chance that it's going to do well. So um, maybe it was some type of software update. It didn't go well. Something crashed. So I did plug it in. Um, I try to reset it, restore it. And then right when I got the restore, I got this error. It says error 9. And it was kind of... And the iTunes has been waiting a little bit. It was looking like it, was, it said verifying iPhone, waiting for iPhone. It was giving me steps along the way. And then eventually it just stops and then it just gives me error code 9. I did let it charge up the battery a little bit longer. Um, I tried a different cable and I tried actually a different computer all together. I got the same error when I tried to do it again. So I thought maybe it could be some type of jack or something like that. Maybe some type of server issue. Maybe it could be the jack, maybe it could be the battery. Maybe the battery isn't really holding a charge because you can't really check the charge on the battery as it's in that state. Um, it just shows the icon with, you know, the, 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 it just shows the icon with the plug and the computer there. So there's no way to really check the battery if it's charging and how much it's charging, you know, and how the capacity of the battery is. So I did try another battery. I charged that up. It looks fine. Um, I tried connecting again. Still the same error. So then I tried to even do the DC jack. Maybe there's some type of connection issue or something with the DC jack. So I tried that as well. I tried replacing that. I tried replacing the battery. I tried two different cables and I tried two different computers. I always got the same error, error code 9. And if you look up the error code 9, this is actually on the support on apple.com. This is on their website. It says if you see error code 9 and all these other errors, just try to update your device again. And this is the one I got. I got this one. It, the iPhone device name cannot be restored. Unknown error, court, unknown error occurred 9. So I got this one over again. Okay, so let's see what they tell me to do. So make sure that my Mac has the latest version of Mac OS and the latest version of iTunes. I tried this on Mac and PC on the latest version of both. Uh, Force your device to reset, I tried that. Um, I did have iPhone 7. I did this, you hold the volume down to get the Apple logo. And then once you see that, you'll see a little connection that tells you to plug into iTunes, tried that. If I still need help, if you still can't, if you can update your device but starts in up in recovery mode, try the steps above again. It didn't do that. Can't update my device. Can't do this. If you continue to see the error code, then contact us. So it's something they do know. It's, you can see it's published of October of 2019. So it's something they know that I don't know. It says for some reason he charged overnight, it's not charging. So I figured maybe something has to be wrong with the jack, something has to be wrong with the battery because if he tried another cable, a brand new cable, I mean, chances are there could be a bad cable, which is true. But if it's not updating and I keep getting this error and they acknowledge it on their website for this and there's not much I can do. So I feel really bad for the customer. He did do a screen replacement not too long ago. Um, and now he's getting this error. He's really upset and I did work on this all day. I tried to figure out what this is. I can't really figure it out exactly what's going on. It must be some type of firmware, something that's blocking it. Um, we can keep trying to update it, but again, keep getting the same error. I tried on multiple different machines. I tried 
multiple different batteries. I tried different uh, DC jack replacements for it. I tried multiple things just to make sure. Maybe it's some type of hardware issue or something, but it does look like it's some type of maybe board problem or it could be maybe some server problem. I'm not getting it, but after seeing the page, I'm convinced that there is something they know is wrong and it must be a pretty big issue if they had to publish a, a little bit of a Apple article on this. So in the long run, it's I feel bad as a technician. There's not much I can do to help and I'm not too sure what's going on with this and there's no clear cut um, type of support for this. You know, you have to go to the Apple store and what are they going to tell you? They're going to tell you you need a board for this. They can't up, you can't update your phone, so what are you going to do? You're going to lose all your data, you're going to do this. Um, it, it really isn't great that I have to lose basically a customer who's really trusted me to to fix his issues. He spent a lot of money on his phone already, you know, and it's, it's just really frustrating that I can't help him out in any way. Um, there's something I'm totally missing here. As a repair shop, it's very difficult because these type of things do happen and there's just not much we can do like and we can't it's 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 very frustrating that we don't have it's very frustrating that for most of these type of issues there is nothing we can really do it's just something that it's very frustrating you can see a lot of these type of Apple repairs there is stuff that if you can if you even replace anything then they do give you a hard time there's a t2 chip um, there's the software sometimes you can't even upgrade the older iMacs to the newest software available even if it's an i7 and i5 they just don't it doesn't matter you can't do it like the 2011 you can only upgrade it the 2011 iMac we had for a customer I can only go to high Sierra but you can't go to high Sierra unless you go through the servers and their servers aren't letting me update to high Sierra because it thinks I'm the, uh, the servers won't even let me update to High Sierra, so I'm stuck on the recovery mode based on what they originally had factory in that machine, and that only goes up to 10.10. .10. So I can't go to, to High Sierra, which High Sierra actually makes a lot of the apps work that it doesn't. So I had to do that pretty recently just because I couldn't update it via their servers. Or you can't even go into the Apple Store and even upgrade. Um, the iMac through their app store they just get rid of the app completely it's not there the only one you can do will be Catalina that's they only do the latest one now so you can't upgrade to the one below like Mojave or any of those unless you have a recovery based on that and even if you have a recovery based on that it's not going to work because the, the machine's too old and it tells you you can't boot from there so it's just very frustrating a lot of these um, Apple repairs there's just sometimes there's things that are just beyond our control and they push it on purpose so you would go to the Apple store seeing this error error 9 and it says error 4005 error 4013 and error 4014 when you're trying to restore your iOS device you just keep getting those errors if they write an article on it there is something they know and they probably go out of their way to make it difficult for repair shops like us to just to fix the phone, you know? So it's, it's very frustrating and unfortunately we couldn't help this client. So what am I supposed to do? There's nothing I can do, honestly. So um, anyways, I just kind of wanted just to talk a little bit. Um, even if you have this error, please comment down below if you actually do know a fix for it or do you know exactly what it is. I didn't look into it too much because of course, you know, we're a very busy shop, but I did kind of everything I thought would make sense you know, replacing certain components, certain parts. Unless it's some type of server issue or some type of hardware issue, I'm just totally unaware of, but there's no basic fix for it. And that's what's very difficult and very frustrating. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoy this video. It's a little bit of a rant. Um, again, like they make a lot of great products, but just some of the things that they do just make it more difficult for repair shops. And I, I understand, you know, it's their products and it's their, they invented it, it's their stuff. Um, you know, the right to repair type of thing. Honestly, like I get it, it's their stuff. If they want to make something very difficult, they can make for something very difficult. So you go to them again. And, um, but it would be interesting just to know what they would say if we would show them this error. Like, are they going to tell us to get another phone? Is there an actual fix for it? Is there something I'm just totally missing? It would be very interesting. I should figure it out. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Like, and I hope you have a good one. Bye.